original type of parallelogram and quadrilateral that we're going to talk about in this series is a trapezoid. So we kind of addressed it in the last lesson, but there are some special things about trapezoids that we want to look at. Now remember you have the trapezoid and you also have the isosceles trapezoid, which is the one that has the two sides congruent in length. So by definition, a trapezoid, while the isosceles trapezoid has some additional qualities, it's got four sides, so it's a quadrilateral. At least two parallel sides. Our pair, there we go. At least two of the pairs of opposite sides. Let's see, at least two opposite sides, not two pairs, but one pair, are parallel, and we call these the bases. So you're gonna have to know this in this lesson, what we're referring to when we say base. And then there's something else in a trapezoid that's called the median. And the median connects the midpoint of the side of the trapezoid. And the median is parallel to the bases. So that sounds like a lot of words, but let's just draw it out and it will make a little more sense. So we have base one and we have base two. This is not an isosceles trapezoid. And it's not a right angle there. So at the top is our base one, which we usually have with a little subscript one, just like that. And then at the bottom, we have base two. And then we have that median that we were just talking about. The median is parallel to the bases and connects the midpoint of the side. So the middle and the middle. That is the midpoint. There is your median. Now, because you know the median connects the endpoint, then you know this segment is congruent to this segment. So those lengths of those segments are the same. And we know this segment is congruent to this segment. That's the definition of a median, okay? So you have another formula in this one. The length of the median, is one half the sum of the length of the two bases. So the median length equals B1 plus B2, all of that divided by two. And it's the length of the median that we're talking about. The sum of the bases divided by two, that's half. If we put some numbers to this and we say B1 is 3.4 and B2 is 5.2 and we're trying to find the length of that median, it would be 3.4 plus 5.2, all of that 
divided by two. You can easily put that right into your calculator, your TI-30XS multi view, 3.4 plus 5.2 all divided by two, and you can calculate the length of that median. So what we want is 3.4 plus 5.2 in the top of a fraction. So we use our N over D button, the left hand parenthesis, and then enter your 3.4 plus 5.2. Directional pad down to get to the bottom of that fraction because we're gonna divide it by two. Directional pad to the right to get out of the fraction and hit enter. The length of that median is 4.3. And that would make sense. It should be a little bit longer than the short base and a little bit shorter than the long base. So as you look at that picture, it makes exact sense that that would be 3.4. I'm sorry, 4.3. Now, we're going to take that concept into our worksheet. And we're gonna look at some things on the worksheet. So we'll do a share. And find the length of the median of each trapezoid. So number one is exactly what we just did. It's the sum of the bases divided by two. So it's 18 plus 14, that's 32, divided by two, which is 16. So that one's not too challenging. Pop that in your calculator, no need to even try to do that in your head. All of these first ones are pretty much identical to that. Let's go to the next section, because we're gonna involve a little algebra in these. Okay, so our last lesson had to do with parallelograms and the angles inside. Little bit of review here because the trapezoid is also a parallelogram because opposite sides are parallel. So you have two parallel lines and you have a transversal. And we need to figure out something about these angles. Well, those are same side interior angles. And they are what kind? Hopefully you remember they're supplementary. That tells you 104 plus 8x plus 20 equals 180 degrees. Subtract that 104 from both sides. So 8x plus 20 equals 76. The parentheses are meaningless now, so we'll drop those. So minus 20 from both sides. 8x equals 56. Divide both sides by eight. And x equals seven. That's exactly what the instructions told us to solve for was x. And of course, those eights would have canceled out, so we mark those. So x equals seven, that is our final answer. So on this next group, that's exactly what you're gonna be doing is the continuation of the same side interior angles being supplementary, kind of the continuation of our last lesson. And now we're gonna find the length of bases or medians using algebraic equations. So let's just look at number 29. So we look at number 29 and we know that in a parallel, of, in a trapezoid, the sum of the bases divided by two equals the length of the median. So we know that 6x Minus 13 is the length of the base, and that equals 21 plus 
seven X minus 12, all of that divided by two. That's the equation that we're gonna start with. Now, how do you get rid of a fraction? From algebra, you should remember that if you multiply a fraction by the denominator, those cancel. But what you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other. So we have to multiply that two on both sides. Well, now it's a distributive. So we're gonna to have to distribute that two to both members of that quantity. So we get two times six X, which is 12 X minus 26, because two times negative 13 is a negative 26 equals, over on the other side, it's just 21 plus seven X minus 12, because the denominator cancels out. We're just left with the numerator. When you multiply that fraction times the denominator, the numerator is all that's left. So you just carry that right down. Now we're just gonna solve this like normal. So we're gonna combine like terms on the right hand side of the equation first. So 12 X minus 26 equals 21 minus 12 is a nine plus seven X. We're gonna subtract seven X from both sides. And then when we get that done, we're gonna carry up here, we have a negative 26 equals, excuse me, we have a five X minus 26 equals nine, because we subtracted seven X from both sides. Now we're gonna add 26 to both sides. And so 5x equals 35. Divide both sides by 5. x equals 7. But they didn't ask you for x. In the instructions, they asked you specifically to find the length of nk. nk is 7x minus 12. So we're going to take this x and plug it in. So for us, nk is 7 times 7 minus 12. 7 times 7 is 49 minus 12 equals 37. Correct answer is going to be A37 on that one. Uh, you be careful, not always, not always are you trying to just find the variable. In that middle section example we did, the instruction said to find x. In this one, it wants us to actually find the variable then plug it back in to get the length of that base. Some of these I assume, this one is looking for the top base. Um, number 27 is looking for the bottom base. And number 28, looking for the top base. You're gonna work them all the same, practice your algebraic equation solving skills. And, Use that formula over and over. So remember, on this one, you are going to upload the pictures of your notes. Into the first question on your Google form, you're gonna upload a picture of your work shown. You're gonna draw the pictures, you're gonna write the problems, you're gonna solve those, upload pictures of it. Then you're gonna put your multiple choice answers in. Dual form. Don't guess. Use homework help to make sure that you get them right. I'll see you in the next lesson.